really today we're going to be talking about some of the especially because it's the new year at the beginning of every year i like to restart my serato i like to take a look at all the crates that i've been working on and have and just basically delete them i just delete yep. everything and i just start fresh especially when i have so much downtime between gigs between now and the beginning of march i might have two or three weddings so i have lots of free weekends where i can revisit some of the music i've been playing and going through different record pools and finding new stuff and figuring out the kind of things like man i've been really playing this song way more than i really should yeah. or not playing songs that i should just really revisiting some of those things so today we're really going to be talking about some of the in my opinion and mike's opinion and obviously you guys are going to have a big part of that as well some of the big kind of pop wedding songs that are working out right now and go through and see uh, if we can all put our brains together and really figure out what those songs are what songs are really working for us at our gigs and really make 2024 a really good spot for us for especially for weddings but also stuff like clubs and bars too yeah, 100%. I, I'm part of, I'm with you right there on the annual purge. And it's everything you've worked on with nightlife, weddings, whatever it may be. You just go to your throttle and you just mass swipe everything. And it's, it feels good. It, it, it's a bit scary, but it's also like you feel how you're saying refresh. It's new year. We're going to start new. Let's start digging again. What's been working lately for us. But when you get to that first event, you get to that first event and you're you like, just, oh shit, I hope I didn't yeah. fuck everything up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you, you go in there and it's, oh, man, like, we're okay, man, let's do this. And you're truly, you you got Serato face because you're just constantly. You got to figure it out. Yeah, and it's good, though, because it, it definitely challenges us as DJs. Because like you mentioned, you get caught, everyone gets caught up in the same thing. Hey, I know this song works with this song, et cetera, et cetera. And now it's, you know what? I'm going to just be, refresh everything. I don't want to sound stale, especially if you have a residency at a club or somewhere. Like, you don't want, one of the worst things I've ever heard is like when bartenders, they're like, like oh, oh know I know what the next song up. is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. Or if you're working yep. with the same planner often. Yep. And I catch myself doing the same thing too, especially near the end of the year, especially when I had, I think October, I had 12 weddings, which was just stupid. And it was one of those things where, man, I really do play that song to that song too much. Or I do that same transition too many times. I need to really mix it up and, and get some different songs that kind of work together with different things to really mix it up. Because when you do it that way, because then it's, okay, I'm at this event and I can go from this song to these four or five songs. Mm -hmm. And so then it's a little more fun. Like, huh, which one would make the crowd get more excited this time? Or having lots of different options where like, I wonder if this song would work really well. And then you just go for it, especially the last like couple months or so. I've been really trying to do use more of the stems at the events oh. and not worrying if it's going to flop or not. But it's mixing one song in, take the stem out, just vocals, bring the beat in. If it's trash, just fucking scratch it out and just go <laughs> hit it. It doesn't matter. They're not going to they're not going to care as long as it's not a shitty song. But really just trying to like mess around with that more because it's, it's really been a lot of fun trying that kind of stuff out. Yeah, I find definitely with stem stems are game changing, but I find that how we're talking about playing always like the same things that go together. I feel mm -hmm. like with stems, it gets real easy because we're like, yo, this stem right here, like it, it sounds dope. This mashup right here. So find myself at like events playing. I'm like, all right, this song's coming in. I'm going to take <laughs> out the vocals. I'm going to drop the vocals from this song in. And I'm like, damn, now we're getting to that same rut. Uh, like Ern said right here in the chat, DJ repeat. So uh, again, thank y'all for tuning in. Radio, we're good to go across the board with everything we being recorded. Good to go. Perfect. As always, Boom. appreciate your radio. If you're just tuning in, make sure to go ahead and head over to. We have uh, radio. Can you drop it in the chat? We want to get your votes on there because we're gonna go ahead. Justin and I are gonna put together an absolute banger crate for y'all. We're gonna post it on CrateHackers.com. It's gonna have all. We're gonna get grab the top tracks from y'all. You can upvote right there so like right now i'm looking at the leaderboard loving on me from jack harlow suggested by john reyes has two likes and then pretty much everything i think we only have like about 10 10 votes so make sure head on over there put your two votes in because as always it's a crowdsource it's a community crate these things these hackathons like aaron trailer always likes to reference it's like the old days of going to the record store with your buddies and going through, looking at stuff, listening to new stuff that's come out. So we definitely want this to be something that y'all are proud of. And y'all are going to go ahead and play at your events. Yeah, but I brought songs too. And so did you, bro. I got 10 <laughs> songs. I got 10 yep. songs right here that I think are like, and this is like across different decades. Like I'm talking like pop in general. And that's a thing that we were talking about before we started. Like what even is pop? Because you could consider 
hip hop pop in some instances or somebody is just like pop is just what's on the radio and that's what you can think of it from that perspective but if you're thinking of it as a way to set a genre then pop and hip hop are not the same thing pop is like more of a style i guess you could say but it's not a genre but you can consider it a genre so when i think of pop as a genre i think of one of the first things i think of is just like katy perry easy right mm -hmm. katy perry easy pop right and that kind of stuff too what do you consider pop like what do you think about that Definitely. I think like by the definition with, when it comes to pop, it's that those <laughs> Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, these icons of like instant when you, their music sounds, it's just upbeat. It's, you hear it on the radio. It's, it's not all of it nowadays, especially it's uplifting when you got one of the Queens turn up the airwaves right now is, oh man, Olivia Rodrigo. Her songs are about like breaking up, but it's super poppy and pop definitely is you, you nailed it right there where it's not necessarily genre. It's just, there's so many crossovers nowadays when it comes to artists where they could dive into the, right now, the one that I mentioned right there, that's tearing up the leaderboard, loving on me, Jack Harlow. I would say Jack Harlow's an, a rapper. He's a hip hop yeah. artist and his, I would say, yeah, loving on me to me, that has that pop vibe. He's not right there like dropping bars. It's, it's more just even like with first class, that's it's, it's crossing uh, genres right there. Those type of songs. So and even some think? older hip hop songs that you can consider hip hop, but in my head, it's pop hip hop. Like it's like on the edge, like even a song like Yeah by Usher is like a pop hip hop kind of song. I, it's, I have it's that in my It's got the hip hop. Crate. It's in your pop <laughs> crate. Yeah. I feel like that's one of those songs that can, you can go either way. Even if you have a crowd, like the couples, we're not really big into hip hop. And then I'm all like, okay, I'm digging a little deeper, but they do want a song like Yeah by Usher or they want Flow Ride a Low. Technically it's hip hop but it's still could be pop too. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things that you got to think about when you're obviously talking to the client, figuring out what they want and really diving deep into it, but also organizing your music too. What is hip hop? What is pop? What is all those other things? So let's go ahead and jump right into some of those songs that we think are just like, and I don't want to say no brainer pop songs because we all have those. I'm sure a lot of us are playing some of the same stuff. I tried to play, pick a couple songs here and there that I think are they are good songs that they have good reactions to, but it's not like they are the like. I think if we're going to start with just how you're saying no brainers, I think I put on there Timber by Kesha mm -hmm. and Pitbull. I think that comes in at what? It's going BPM. down. Yeah, you play that. 30? I thought that was like 125. Yeah, it's up there. And so that to me is one of those just no brainers where you could drop it any, no matter if you're at corporate. I know this is a wedding bangers act on, but just references yeah. everything. You could drop it anywhere and it's going to go over well. What do you think? What you got next? I think a no brainer is crazy and love Beyonce. Oh, yeah, you know, definitely. Easy pop song. Yeah. Lee Hoffman said in the comments and let us know as well. Y'all that are watching in the comments, <clears> let us know what uh... pop. Yep. That's a no brainer right yep. there. Insane. Boom. Michael said hip hop Ray. I don't think that's a pop song. <laughs> Gasolina. And then like, when, but when that's the thing, too. Like... Even something like Gasolina, I wouldn't consider Gasolina specifically, but maybe a song like like that hit the radio like Mahente. Mm -hmm. I would consider yeah. that a pop song. Despacito, you could consider that a pop song. It's also a Latin song, but you could crossover. consider it a kind of like a crossover sort of thing. Absolutely. I think another one that I love, and I love to this, I, I love to play uh, Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. And we we're speaking about this prior in the green screen, in the green room, about how Nicki Minaj is also a hip hop artist. That song is like, it's a crossover. It's going into the pop, to me, it's going into the pop genre. What do we got here? Time of our life, Pitbull. Yep, Miente. And that's, I think, Pitbull as well. Wouldn't you agree? Like Pitbull, who started doing a different type of music. And now I would say majority of his stuff is considered pop to me. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't even like Pitbull's. It's definitely, I feel like, leans more pop. Yeah. He's got the Spanish elements in there too. It's also got some like hip hop elements, sort of. But I really think it, he really leans more into the pop mainstream kind of vibe. And I don't even know if I have any Pitbull in my thing. Oh, I have one. I picked one pit. Oh no, not two, but, but yeah. it's a no brainer. And I even tell clients this too. I'm just all like, when in doubt, play Pitbull like for the DJs. Cause it's just so easy. I love me some Pitbull. I am not so gonna easy, lie. Bro. Like anything, said, part in the USA, part in the USA, absolutely just slays no matter what, no matter what, like no matter how old you are <laughs> again, no matter your setting and this wedding bangers, it definitely, we, we want to span the decades. So drop them in from everywhere. Someone mentioned Mariah Carey a little while ago. Taylor Swift is obviously the biggest thing right now happening. So anything Taylor Swift, I would say Dua Lipa has been tearing it up. 
Gary yeah. Moffat over on uh, Twitch said, let's get married. Remarkable oh, remix. No brainer. Really? Yep. I love the remarkable remix. It's crazy. Cause like when you hear, that's the only one I think of when I think of let's get married by Jagged Edge. And like, when you actually hear we're at the wedding yesterday, Ern and I played during dinner, I played the original and Ern was like, wait, it's you're just so dro- thrown off because you're like, okay, I know these words, but it's just it's slow songs. It's, it's wild when you actually get, when the remix actually hits so much harder than the original. Mm-hmm. What do you think about like when it comes to pop, what sort of songs that are on the older side? that you think are still like a good a good song to play nowadays i got a couple um, let me see you, you kick it off on like how old do you want to go back i have the oldest one i have is 79 oh what'd yeah. you got i love to play i will survive i was afraid yeah. i was petrified i'll still play that <laughs> at a wedding i don't care you know what i mean playing stuff like that actually yeah. i play a lot of breakup songs at the weddings and they always go off like all I, the time I, I, I'm a big believer in, I don't, I'm not one of those DJs that, and I don't def, definitely, you're not as well, that we put ourselves in a box by saying we only have to play uplifting music or music about love. Like I'll play crap about breakups. I'll play like crap about hating your ex, whatever. It's, it's a party. Once you switch over to the dance section of a wedding, it's, you're just now a celebration, you're a big party and whatever gets people moving or like one of the greatest requests I ever had is play something that makes my butt cheeks move in opposite directions. I got you. Yeah. Bridget cheeks right. on the dance floor. Yeah. So Whatever we got, you... right, so we got, oh, wow. Eric always playing Ignition. Nice. We're not going to get into that one. September, EWF, Billie Jean. Okay. They're coming in with Easy. some bangers. Of course, we know, like, how you're talking about, like, can't miss, surefire. I want to dance with somebody. Bro, with the, the next two close, every time I hear that song, I can't not think the, why the fuck you lie? Why you always <laughs> lie? Every yeah. time I hear that song, I just can't. I always think of the meme every time. Here we go. So watch. Let's go ahead. Let's fire over to um, I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go over into Creator of the Week right here. And we could go ahead and go through some of these right here. Let's go ahead and tell you desktop one. Boom. Share sound. Good to go. All right. Can you all see that right there? It's good, bro. Boom. All right. And make sure that this is not too loud. We're going to go to 50 percent for y'all. So as y'all can see right here on the top, if you've been voting. What you is your definition of 50 percent? Because I think it's different than mine. That was 80, bro. That was at least 80. Oh, you guys always screen right here? <laughs> no, 50%. It was like you barely like went down all. Up. Right there. There you go. That's Y'all can see that? Right there. Damn. That's 50. <laughs> yeah. I thought that, see, Zoom is in- infringing on my privacy right there. I didn't think y'all could see the actual stuff from Apple. All right. Loving on me, as y'all can see. And feel free again to follow along at creatoftheweek.com. Uh, Loving on me is slaying right now any setting. Uh, I play at STK every single time I'm there. With eight likes right here. Hotel room. Pitbull. Nice. Holla back, girl. I don't know. I wouldn't trust this dude right here. Paint the town red. Uh, Doja Cat. Yeah, Doja Cat definitely has been slain. And I in the pop category. What else we got? Uh, Actually, I want to jump on that Doja Cat song real quick. Mm-hmm. Paint the town red. How has that song been working for you guys at parties? Because I feel like it doesn't go as yeah. hard as you think it should. Same, same. And I'll play like, a little- I feel like it almost flops. I, I agree. I agree. Definitely right here. I know. I've been playing uh, because the original, I just feel like it's not hitting. So I play a new disco version of it, mm-hmm. like a SDK, and it's still just, I just feel like it's still not hitting. So I'll play a little bit for those of y'all have not heard it right here. Let us know in the comments. How's that, that been working bit. for y'all? It's one of those songs, and this is the same mindset that I have with any song that kind of blows up on TikTok or something. Just play the chorus or just play the part that they know. So like they only know the chorus and they only know the bitch. I said what I said. And just literally that's it. Like I'll do that. Call it a day. And that's a good way to test songs out a little bit because you don't want to jump into a party. Oh, I just downloaded this new song. I'm going to play it at the party. And then you play the whole song or you play two choruses or you play the part that they don't know. The song just came out. They might not even know the song, really. You might be one of the first people to introduce it to them. Or there might only be a handful of people there that actually even know what the song is. So just jumping in, playing it real quick and then jumping out of it. And especially for a song like that, where I think... I don't even think you should play the original version of that song. I think you need to have a remix or a redrum for that song particularly, just because I feel like it's not like it's not very high up on the energy scale. But it's still a good mm-hmm. song, but I couldn't imagine it like peak dance floor and then you drop that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me know what you guys think about that, because yeah, every- I feel like it hasn't been working out as as well as I thought it would. Yeah, everyone's blowing up the chat. They're saying that it's slaying at like younger events, sweet 16s. 
16, 17, you definitely, a lot mm -hmm. of people that are on TikTok since it has been introduced to them prior to, if you're playing at a club and people are like, <laughs> probably what the fuck is this? You were speaking about remixes and yeah, Jamie said that she dropped it at the Jersey Shore. She dropped the remix at the Jersey Shore and it went over really well. So which kinda, remix probably, was it, Jamie? Yeah, let us you know. No, Jamie, which remix know. was it? I think the one that I've been doing, it's not even a remix. It's just a redrum. I think it's the Pete Down redrum is the one that I've been using. It just has a little bit more energy. It's sped up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there's another one that I have where it's, damn, what's that fucking song? It's the song that has the same beat as my is type, the like New the original. Booty? Jay just said the Miss New Booty blend. Have you played that one? I don't think so. What song is the my type? Mm -hmm. What song is that? I can't remember. There's this one mashup who has the original. Yeah, Freak -a Leak. That's what it is. So it's <laughs> it's Paint the Town Red with the Freak -a Leak beat. But it's really sick. Wow. That's what, the one that I end up that using. Right there? I think it was on DMS. I'll have to double here. check though. I can pull it up real quick. Or here, we'll just I'll call on DMS for those of y'all on direct music service. All right, cool. Yeah, but that's the one I'll usually play. I'll never play the original either. I I feel like the energy's low on that one. So I'll, pretty easy one. I'll do the Freak -a Leak the town red and then go straight into either freak leak or my type right after it and then just keep it going going through all this we found love by rihanna easy yep who said man i just heard the other day somebody say as well that they were i think it was kevin was it you i came i saw today i was scrolling instagram and someone was saying oh it was jack christian i don't know if jack's in here right now i saw him earlier yeah jack's here okay so yeah jack was saying that he put out a reel and he was saying two songs i'm gonna play more of and only girl in the world only girl in the world by rihanna and i was like that's one of those it's, it's definitely not new but it goes over hard yeah someone said only yep jack <laughs> jack i need to find like a really good like epic intro of only girl like slam it goes right into you wanna make me feel mm. and then just boom yeah. go right into it somehow like some really cool remix of that or something i think that'd be really sick yeah. Yeah, bro. I, I, we close, but I didn't know you could sing like that, dude. That was nice. Hey, yo. Actually, I could sing just like Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I had the pipes like that, did you? What is happening here? Awesome. <laughs> um, so just a quick recap. I think we're at, uh, yeah, we're about halfway through top of that or halfway through the hour. Justin, the DJ and myself, Mike Via checking in right here from, we're both from Dallas. We're both from the LaForce team. So I think we have a, a couple of LaForce team members in here as well. I know I see Big Earn. We got the full, I think are these guys here Georgia too. Ever? Yeah. Oh yeah. Kai. Yeah, I saw Man, Kai. Yeah. I, I'm only seeing the first screen. I got to somehow make this bigger. Yeah. Kai Torres is in here, but yeah, we got a lot of special people on the screen right here. A lot of the Crate Hackers curators, uh, for those of you who are not part of Crate Hackers, Definitely. Radio could drop a link in there. Uh, we're going to put this crate that we all work together. We're going to take your top suggestions and we're going to put them in there as long as probably with 10 suggestions from Justin, 10 suggestions from myself, and we're going to make a banger crate. This is the pop banger wedding crate. And hopefully that when you guys are going ahead and redoing all your crates in the off season right now, when spring season comes along, y'all start slamming dance floors with it. So that's the idea. That's the hope. That's the goal. Radio, what do we got next on the agenda right here? You've got... You can do the you know, the challenge where you pick something from the crate and you ask the audience what they okay. would choose to mix out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I like that okay. Like that. What, Let's what do you, it. You titled that something, Mike, the last time we did that. What did you call that? I don't know. It's been so long since we did a hackathon. I'm just <laughs> stoked to be here with y'all, man. It's been a minute. <laughs> I think our last hackathon was October. It was October. And, all right. See, so it's been since, it's since October. And Cray Hackers, for those of you who are newer members and weren't day ones, when we started this, it was during the pandemic. And it was a great way for DJs. Obviously, the world was falling apart. And so it was a great way for all of us to connect and be together. And so if you're here, thanks for those of you who have your cameras on. I understand if you can't have it on, but flip your camera on. Let us see you. Say what's up. I see John Ray is with the Cray Hackers background, man. That's what's up. Thanks for representing. Oh, and a tattoo? Lifetime member right there. Uh, yeah, we had to stop doing that, man, because everyone was getting Cray Hackers tattoo <laughs> every time. Like, that was the first time. Now, what if I, I got said, a Cray Hackers forehead tattoo? Can I get it for free then? No, nah, we stopped the Lifetime No, but like on my forehead. Come on, bro. You can't hook you me mess up. Mess up that face? Come on. Wait. You know the moneymaker. <laughs> you got to ask Glenn. Glenn's here. Where's Glenn? Yeah, ping Glenn to the screen. What's up, Glenn? It's been a long time, bro. Last time I saw Glenn was in Atlanta. All right, Mike, let's pick a song, bro. Let's see what we're All thinking right. here. Let's go. All right. So we're going to go through and let me know in the chat. Drop a one. Oh, no, we're going to let's pick somebody right here to see what you would mix out of it. And then the chat could go ahead and put in their suggestion right here. Let's do song we we doing? someone from page two. We are choosing. Was it Lee Hoffman? 
Right got there. Me, got, got me on the goddamn screen all late. Now I look stupid. <laughs> We're yeah, gonna I'm... come right back to you because we're gonna get your next. You're gonna get your suggestion on the next one. I'm out. Lee, Lee, can you hear? Lee, I unmuted you. Can you hear? Who are you talking to me? Lee Hoffman. Get, get me off the screen. Fine, no, okay. Uh... All right. Here we go. Where's Glenn? Where? You know what? Where is he? I can't. Man, I am struggling with this. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, there he is, right there, Glenn. All right, Glenn. We're gonna go through. We're gonna spin it. Tell me when to stop. Ready? Go. Let me know, Glenn. Oh, now you want to hear me? Now you want to hear me? I'm sorry. Uh, do uh, stop. <laughs> All right. So. We're going to go ahead and go with, let's do popular. By the weekend, of course, we have no damn audio. Uh, run this it is... again. Run it again. All right. Run, run it, it again. again. Yeah, that's a good song. Stop. They just added that song to Fortnite. Oh, okay. This is no pressure now. We just bashed this song right here. Paint the town red. What would you mix out of this? And let us know in the comments right now. Let us know in the chat, all y'all. What, what song would you mix out of Paint the Town Red? The original. Right, I already gave my answer. All right, Glenn, what would you do? Oh, you really wanted me to do that? Yeah. Here's what I usually do. I'm not going to lie. I use the recommendation engine in... in in crate actors oh and then i try nice. to see if the if whoever's on it whoever gets it a little drunk right now yeah so whoever gets it i try to see if they're actually better than ai but now i gotta log in so that didn't work <laughs> hold on hold that thought what was justin's my suggestion was oh i forgot what the name of that damn song was oh freakily <laughs> freakily okay, yes i'm putting so. paint the town red into the yeah you don't got freakily oh you never mind you're looking right up right here right. leak is not in the top 10 all right, so it's dropping in at 100 BPM, the original. But I'd probably go, I'd probably go with Crazy in Love. Crazy in Love, I like that. Shem agrees. Who we got right here? This is how we do it. Yep, definitely. Glenn's gonna go ahead and hit that banger button. Rexy, <coughs> nice. All right, Rack my city, time. Bitch. I'm gonna be bold. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Says Matt Savage. Yo, icy girl. S and M. Adore you by Harry Styles is a good match. Adore you by in, the, in the recommendation engine. Okay, awesome. All right, Glenn. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. All right, radio. Can you pick uh, someone else for us, and yeah, I'll get rid of work me. on this end. <laughs> <laughs> Love get you, Glenn from the server. Let's ban that guy. Blow up his house. All right. Who is on? Lee just responded, said he could hear you. So you're gonna go back to Lee? Okay. Yeah. Where's Lee? Can you pin him for us? His camera's on. I can add him. All right. There you go. What's up, Lee? You can unmute. Right now. There you go. Yeah. What's up, man? Muted. What's going on? What's up, dude? Awesome. Right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna spin this right here. You let me know when to stop, and then give us your recommendation. What you would mix out of it? You ready? Oh, okay. All right, yep, here we let's go. do it. Let me know. All right, stop. All right, this is "In the City" by Charlie. So we're coming in at 128 oh. BPM right there. What would you mix out of that? A key. Well, it is uh, according to yeah, 12 B. First thing I gotta say is I've never heard that song in my life. Never. Sure, That's always gonna go down. <laughs> All right, yeah. Do boys a liar since everyone knows that song and it's right below it. It was close. Enough. You say that there I'm go. good enough, but I'm not the oh, sorry. What's the name of that new uh, the Nikki track that's got that same vibe to it? You gotta just, I don't know that song. I don't, wait, let me look it up by Nikki Randy. Yes, said, yeah, that's, trust Randy. It, yes, everybody. Yeah, a lot of people are saying everybody at the time, dirty bit, super freak. Okay, okay, yeah, I feel so like close. a lot of these just don't fit. That vibe. It's tricky. That's got that New Jersey tricky. club feel to oh, it. Oh yeah, it's like a it's like a Jersey club. Did that awesome. song just come out three uh, weeks Boys ago? Yeah, no, the oh, everybody the... Nicki Minaj song. Yeah, I saw it on all the record pools, but it was just too new for me to uh, even check it out. I was just concentrating on the crazy thing of events at the end of the year, but uh, definitely. Yeah, I think that would actually work really well with Boys Alive. Okay, I like Which that. Chino, Nikki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, dude. Thank you, Lee. DJ Chino mm -hmm. right here. This is one of Justin's jams right here. Kylie Minogue, Can't Get You Out of My Head. This is my song? It's in your crates. Play for me. Can't Get You Out of My Head? All right. Get, you out, of, is, get you out of my head. Uh, uh, is that what you're talking Is that the right song we're thinking about? Yeah, that's the right one. That is it. Uh, that's a vibe All during right. dinner, bro. Awesome. All right, Radio, how are we looking on time? We're looking good. You got three good, more bro. minutes before you want to switch? Okay. Yeah, let's do let's do two more and then we'll open it up to Q and A and we carry on. See what Justin would like to add to that one. Justin, you want to go ahead and pick somebody? I don't know who wants to be picked. That's the thing. First sure. person to say me in the chat. I don't know. Kevin Durant. <laughs> Kevin Durant was ready. First person, literally, he had his hands on the keyboard ready yeah, to go. Yeah, that was fast, bro. All right, radio, you got him. Start his camera's top. not on. Oh, his camera on. Yeah, can you turn your cam camera? You don't on, need Kevin? no camera if he could talk. Give me something not can't awful. Spotlight him. I can't yeah. Spotlight him. Camera on. Roll and mute him if you want. It's cool. There That'll work. Go. There you go. Yeah, yo, what's up, baby? Me? How you doing? Yeah. All right, give me something good. All right, All right Mike, ready? don't fuck it up. Yep. <laughs> Let me know when you want me to stop. Here we go. In three, two, one. 
It's tough somewhere near the top because once they get down yeah. low, I don't know. I, <laughs> like, I don't even know yeah. these songs. Okay, this is that's actually fun. a banger. We're gonna stay right here. Houdini by Dua Lipa. All right. Oh, that's I love that song. song. I play it at all. This is definitely this is gonna be one of my recommendations for our banger crate. Here you go. Yep, that's I don't definitely know, maybe rotation. something on the newer side too, like a Lizzo. I know Juice is a little old, but it's moving up in that direction, mm-hmm. picking up things. Yeah, I think Juice is at 122 BPM. So yeah, yeah you can make close. that work right you there. Can, you can work. work. Then maybe hit awesome. another, uh, get into another. Once again, I've never heard that song in my life. No? Yeah. Houdini no. hasn't been tried. working Hasn't been working that great here. But... Where are you located? Uh, I'm in Southern Maine. But... Okay. But... I love, yeah, There we got a couple banger recommendations right here from Beyonce. Someone said, Break My Soul. Another person said, Cuff It. Randy said, Cuff It. And then who said, Flying Chai is going crazy. Jump It's a good one. But that's picking it up. Someone said Dance the Night Away for that Houdini song. I think that'd be a good one. Even though it's the same artist, though. Yeah. I don't mind. I'll play two Drake songs in a row. I don't give a shit. Dance the Night slaps. All right, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Dance the Night definitely slaps and even love again away. i like love again by dua lipa the it's like the remake of that i just old, feel like, like you gotta do it really quick though i feel like mm-hmm. they're just filler songs like those aren't the songs that are gonna make make the party get crazy i feel like they're just songs to get you through your set <laughs> or to help you get from one bpm to another or one key to another but still a good song for sure especially if it's like on the request list yeah we got he says share believe <laughs> was actually ernie recommended that at, at uh, when i was djing last night and he was assisting me and he told me to throw it on there and it was the right crowd and it, it, it really was a great suggestion man so thank you ernie all right awesome all right so we're gonna go ahead move on we're gonna do pump it or dump it for a few minutes for those of you who have never seen that we're gonna go ahead and this is a crate that was generated right here from ai that yeah, y'all say, i didn't pick any of these songs <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to pump it or dump it. We're going to select someone to come on screen right here. Radio will pick them out. And then I'm just going to do the same thing that we did right now to go ahead and choose oh. what song to mix out Actually, of. Actually, you don't, we don't have to pick anyone. They have oh. to in, put in the chat. You're Once. right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Once. It's been Once a long it. time from a hackathon. Once if you want to keep it. Zero if you want to dump it. Correct, Radio? Yep. Ones if you bump it. Os okay. if you dump it. Yeah. Jamie said we need an entire hackathon of Justin Singh. <laughs> Yo. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to slide this. Ready? Right. Jay, so, you pick it. You ready? All right, ready? Let me know. Yeah. Tell me when to stop. Boom. If we ever, if broke, we ever up, broke up, we'll I've be never even sad. heard it. Yeah, you have. Let me know. It's that Zero song, is it? if we ever broke up, but never be sad. If we ever broke up. Something about his dog, too. Just all, <laughs> I hate <laughs> everything about song. you except your dog. <laughs> you gotta, yada, 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 yada. Everyone on Zoom has a zero. There's even a negative zero, and there's a I, one yeah, in Twitch. Not one, you have one, one, not one, one in Twitch. It. Actually, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Now I know the song he's talking about, and it's actually a pretty decent song. I just can't think of a situation where I'd play it. <laughs> but at a okay. wedding, at a wedding, never. I no, I can tell you, even at the club, banger crate. I wouldn't even play that at the club anytime soon. I can tell you that. No, All right. uh, the AI definitely needs us to hold its hand still. Uh, I'm actually in the view, though, uh, radio, uh, the one that they see, not the admin view. So I can't dump it. But if you can make a notation for us on that one. So we'll go ahead and Don't we'll you worry, that Mike. Out of the crate. I'm going to dump most of these. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, wait till Justin gets a hold of this crate. All right. Ready? If you could pick uh, someone else, Justin, you select them. There is a request in right. Twitch chat to pick something that you can play so they can hear it. DJ Paul okay. called that the Casey Kasem dead dog dedication. <laughs> so let's just pick something because I don't yeah. even recognize most of these. All right. You pick one then. Martin Garrix. Keep going. I don't even know that Cardi B song in the city. Boy's a liar. That's easy. Go to the top. Thank you. I only recognize like three of them. I know the Barbie yeah. World song. Can you do that? Listen to the Nikki song. Okay. All right. Here it goes. Got me yelling out like the scream house. Ye- yelling out. We ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't letting out. We got because if you're in like the last like part of the night, like you're at the end, I think could be a good song to play. But it also depends if they're like super into it too. But at the same time, I wouldn't even consider that pop. Like it's popular, but I don't think it hits that in the middle threshold of it being between pop and hip hop. Yeah, no, I feel it. That's she definitely is flowing on that beat right there. For that's sure. kind of like what we were speaking about uh, earlier when it comes to her track, Super Bass. That's more she's she is flowing on it, but it's not. That seems like a little more on the hip hop side to me. Because, yeah. OK, I had a couple. The hook, Ernie says. So what's the overall census right here? It looks like once. So we're going to keep that one right there. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's pick another one that we know right here. I don't know any of these. That new jeans one towards the top. New jeans. Where is it? 
It was right above there, that one. See what people think about that one. Okay, super shy. Something on a battery, yeah, you're special and you know it, you're the top, babe. I've never heard this song. Uh, super shy, but wait a minute, make your mind. That sounds like one of those, like, K-pop songs. All the time, I wanna talk. <laughs> see, you know what? I mean, Here's I the deal, see, like, a lot of, cocktail. maybe, here's the deal, like, I, I have the, somebody might not like this, but I feel like a lot of K-pop music sounds like they're fake songs. What do you guys think about that? They're like, they're songs that you would imagine somebody in a movie is like, there's like a big artist in a movie that's a fictional artist, and then they made that song, and that's what K-pop sounds like in my head. What do you guys think about that? Because I just feel like... They're good songs. There's so many really good like K-pop songs, but that's just I just can't get it out of my head. That's the that's how I feel about it. What do you okay. think, Mike? I feel like radio uh, hates me now. No, no, no. I just I wanted to see what <laughs> people do because I haven't. It's maybe in the last five weddings I've I've played, I've only really? had one request for a K-pop song. I I don't mind having it as good background music, but I've never pulled it up in a, in a wedding. I don't know. Yeah, le- real quick, I, we're gonna do a quick. We're gonna switch it up just a bit, but let me know in the comments. Like, I think maybe it depends on the region you're from. Possibly, like we're from Texas, we're from Dallas. I don't think K-pop really is big out here, but let me know if it's working in the region you're from. All right, we had a suggestion right here from the Cray Hackers team. We're actually gonna switch it up, and we're gonna go to the leaderboard, and from here we'll ask if you want to pump it or dump on. What is it? Oh, we are reading too many damn things. <laughs> pump it or dump uh, it. Pump it, yeah, it, 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 it. Oh, is. <laughs> Welcome to Cray Hackers live on the thing. All Patron right. time. I love you. All right. All right. Let's go to, uh, let's do this. Can't stop the feeling selected by our own. <laughs> Justin, someone on, on Twitch said K-pop. You feel like it's being played on a Disney show. And <laughs> I think that's yeah. probably about exactly what you were saying. It's yeah. a Disney track. <laughs> All right. So can't stop the filling. Let, let me know in the chat. Hey, ones if you want to keep it. Zero. And again, this is for a wedding format. All right. So ones. There you go, Jim. All right. Like we're keeping that one. Okay. Just reluctantly one, which I agree. <laughs> yeah. It's just one of those things where just all, I don't really want to, but yeah, I feel so like easy. I need to. Sometimes yeah. you feel like you have to sometimes. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead. How about boom? Oh, it just stopped right here. What do y'all think? Yo, this and I know my boy Kai is dancing his butt off over there. I'm seeing a lot of ones, but here's the deal. Would you consider it pop? Is the next question. Would you consider that pop? It's definitely Latin pop. For sure. But would you play but, that at a wedding where they didn't want any Latin? Or like they didn't say Latin is a part of their wedding? Or would you still play that song? I would. I mean I would play the song, song never, regardless. I that's I what I'll say. I I played at song. weddings where I don't think not one person in the crowd spoke Spanish. But they just know the beat. They love it. And I think that's the power of music. It's you don't have to know the damn words. You could get a fire reggaeton beat. You could get a fire Afro beat track. And you just start moving. You're like, damn, this shit slaps right here. I personally would play it. What does the chat say? Everyone says, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's yep. go for and it. Then, yep. See, I told you, Kai says a top 40 banger. <laughs> top bang. All right. All right. Let's pick uh, another. All right. I like these songs out. way better than the other ones. Yeah, we're going to use these. We're going to go ahead and we're probably going to get rid of all these on the left. And we're going to go ahead and go with all y'all suggestions right here. So, all right. Which one you want to choose, Justin? All right, just scroll fast and I'll say stop. All right, go. Stop. Every time we touch. Yeah, bro, Just that's a up. must play. Must yeah, play. That's what a Justin song. Someone give a like on that. Come on. Now. There's zero likes on it. Like it. Don't you worry. That one right there. It's probably going to jump right to the top. Oh yeah, it'll so. be the number one song. <laughs> one's a banger, bro. Okay, okay. Here, I want to bring this one up. Randy brought this one up, and I was messing with Jem prior, and I, I was just giving him a hard time. But I actually, yeah, I'm let y'all decide. When it comes to Mr. Brightside, what do y'all think? Fall in the pop. I think that yeah, we were speaking about it, and I I think it does. I think it's one of those songs that what Justin touched on at the beginning, where it's crossed over from all to like definitely top forty, where every single person knows every word to it. Let me know, and then let me know with the one or zero if you want to go ahead and keep it or you want to dump it. I so like funny that. story about Mr. Brightside. I actually had a couple. I was we we're having a final meeting for their wedding, and they're all like, "There's one song that we don't want you to play, and it's Mr. Brightside." And I was like, "I would love to know your reason why, just because yeah. I was interested to know why." And they said, "It's not because it's overplayed. It's not because of this or that. It's because I can't get out of my mind that it's technically a breakup song." And I was like, is it? 
Like, if you look at the lyrics, Mr. Brightside's a breakup song. And so then my next question was, okay, does that mean you want me to not play breakup songs at your wedding? And so then I started listing a couple breakup songs like Taylor Swift, We're Never Ever Getting Back Together, I Will Survive, even a song that's, I love to play Shaggy, It Wasn't Me. It's not a breakup song, yeah. but it's about a guy cheating on his girlfriend or whatever. And they're like, no, those him. are all cool. We just can't get Mr. Brightside out of our head that it's a breakup song. It. And I'm just like, that's so weird, but fine. <laughs> it's so you know random. What? So Lee Hoffman actually says something that's pretty legit. Let me know what you guys think. He said, that's this generation's don't stop believing. It is. That's pretty 100%. cool. I like that. All right, cool. So then awesome. So I think, yeah, we're going to definitely, we're going to go through y'all suggestions right here and we're going to get rid of a lot of the other stuff, but you guys are giving some really good suggestions. Don't forget to go in voting on all your favorite ones right here. I want to see these. Let's see if we could top you know 20 on a couple 20 likes on a couple of these songs i had hotel room service on my we got, list we got about seven minutes left so i think we're gonna go ahead we're gonna open up to q a if you guys i do any, i uh, have one song that i do want to bring up before we jump mm -hmm. into that one song that i recently started playing at events and they just it just seems to work almost every single time is one direction what makes you beautiful have you guys been playing that song it, even steve has a fire hype edit from that it's in it's sean Fuzzy? kingston i think it's sean okay. kingston um that it's like mm. a hype intro and goes directly i know which that. one you're talking about it's yep. so good yeah yeah but i played that people. at my wedding last weekend and it was the peak song and i had adrian who was my assistant at that wedding i knew he was writing songs down as i was playing I, i'm like it's fine whatever bro and so that song comes on and they're you going crazy you, bro? and i literally <laughs> turned around and i said Adrian, write this song down. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, it was so funny. I definitely think that song is a, definitely a big song for that age group of couples, especially for the wedding side, just because when they were 13, like that was the song. And now they're 21, 25, whatever. That's one of those songs that takes them back. Joe Bros too. Just like Kevin said, Joe Bros too. You play that song where he's high heels, red dress, and they all go, yes. That kind of shit. They love that shit. I'm loving this side of Justin right now, man. We're going to go to karaoke. Aaron, what are you doing after? Peter's in here too. Yo, We're going karaoke. Aaron and Mike are going to the casino after this. What are you talking uh, about? Text me after. So <laughs> raise your hand if you got a question for if you want for Justin or myself. Feel free to go ahead. We could take a, only a few because we don't want to keep you all here all night. So put your hand up right here on radio. We'll call upon you. But in the meantime, 100% agree with who put it. I just saw this right here. Yo, was, Jack, uh, if you want to go to Choctaw, let me know, bro. We might uh, go. Jeffrey, Jeffrey McMillan said, unwritten remix this season was fun. Hell yeah. The Hollaback Girl. Yeah, that one's good. Unwritten was just so fire this year. I made that. Is that a scooter edit? I think it's on DMS. Yeah, I believe it was. Let me see. Yeah. Here, boom. Do you got any questions, Radio? None yet. None from oh. either Zoom. I got a or... question for you, Mike. What's up? Why are you so damn sexy, bro? What's up with that? It's the lighting or lack thereof, man. Oh, perfect. 100%. So really, I want to think, let's talk a little bit about for some of the DJs here. I know probably a handful of you guys had events on New Year's. What was the New Year's song for you guys? And Mike, did you, you worked New Year's, right? What was y'all's New Year's song? I went into, it was requested by the Brandon Groom. It was, I did, it was Fuse Mania from DMS had a really dope countdown a two minute countdown and mm -hmm. then i mashed that up at the end with another one from dms that was like a 10 second countdown and then went directly into i got a feeling by black eyed peas and it, it was a throwback song but it went over really well everyone was singing and they were looking out over out the windows of the weston and at reunion tower with all the fireworks going off and the drone show so mm -hmm. that went pretty well <laughs> he had a god awful new year's oh no he had a god awful New Year's. He said people are the worst. He might like make a video about it. <laughs> Lee, do you want to talk about it? Yeah. You want to talk yeah. about it right here, right now? I'd love to hear about this. Marcellus raised his hand. Okay. We got Marcellus. Bring Marcellus up. Where, where are you? Let's see. Did Todd Sigmiller said, put it, said, put it back and down. I want you to go raised home. it up twice. Did you still want to ask a question? That's Glenn's song right there. Uh, Sick Miller. Glenn still plays Drunk and I Don't Want to Go Home. Banger. Remember? Absolute banger. Glenn will, Glenn will always play that song. Wait, which one was it? Drunk and I Don't Want to Go Home by Miranda Lambert. I don't know if I know that one. It's a good song. <laughs> that hurts, Justin. That hurts. Yeah, sorry, bro. Wow. Marcellus sorry, put his man. hand back down, but okay. you got a couple more minutes if you want to change your mind, Marcellus. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring him back on. 
Where are you at? He's right there. I can unmute him. There we I go. Oh my God. This damn thing is so confusing. Like you can't mm -hmm. just put down and everything like that. So I want to ask anybody. I recently attended a wedding, a destination wedding as a guest. And I was mm -hmm. in a, being a DJ. I want to know if anybody in the chat has been a guest at a wedding recently. And what was your experience? Because I'm my first blog of this year is going to be why I think being a doing a destination wedding makes sense for a lot of people, especially the way that this person did it. Okay. So cool. I was a wedding as a guest probably maybe a year and a half or two years ago or so. I still have no idea who the DJ was. I didn't write it down, but it was very obvious that he might have when you work with those clients and they tell you one thing and then you just take it and go with it. I feel like a lot of times like you really need to like ask yourself and ask them like, OK, what's the let me give you some backstory. So like this couple, they really love to like slow dance to like country music. And that's cool. Maybe that's a big part of their relationship, big part of their family, whatever. So if I have a couple who's telling me that they want that, I'm going to be like, OK, cool. Are you picturing that as the part of your wedding? That is the whole point. You just want the entire night to be all country slow dance or whatever. Or do you think that there's going to be people at your wedding that are going to want to dance to other music or they want to to have hip hop or pop or whatever? And that's a definitely an important question to ask your clients. So anyways, going to this wedding, the DJ played probably 12 to 15 country slow dance songs in a row during the dancing oh. part of the night. And after the second one, it was empty, empty. And I remember that, yes, in a row, Jeffrey, in a row, 12 to 15, I was counting and I ran out of fingers to how many he played. <laughs> and I remember I was with uh, the girl I went to this wedding with, and I remember turning to her and she looks at me and says, as soon as the DJ plays a Taylor Swift song, I'll go out there, but I'm not dancing to this. And so I'm literally just standing there. I never told the DJ, <laughs> I never went up to him because I'm not, that's just that's not how I am. I'm not doing it. And eventually he played a Taylor Swift song and then all the girls started dancing and then he just kept it rolling. But it was just one of those things where read the, reading the crowd, understand. Like, yeah. Okay. The couple told me that country slow dance is a big thing that they want to emphasize. But that doesn't mean you need to drop 15 in a row before you realize, yeah. huh, this shit's not working. You know what I mean? <laughs> that also goes with read the room though, as well. Like yep. you, you, you can't just beat something in the ground and i hope every single dj that's on here i know i know justin does as well like when you're going over when you're going over a planning meeting with the your couples you know you could go ahead you can meticulously plan stuff of songs that their guests have requested or like songs that your couple likes but i always say hey if it's not working are you okay with me just throwing all that out and doing whatever it takes to get like a packed dance floor and a party because that's why they're hiring you right they want to raid your wedding and Exactly what you're saying. Even though they could really like country and yeah, we'll play some, but if it's not working, like we're throwing that shit out the door and we're playing Pitbull and we're playing the stuff that we're talking about and do whatever it takes. So definitely. And then I promise you, if they're hiring you, they're hiring you for a reason. And they're always going to tell you, yeah, they're like, yeah. Don't you a standard question for everyone is that when things don't work, can I be your DJ? That, that's you what I'm think saying. That, I hope it is. Yeah. That should be. The and if it's not, it should be. You, you should. That should be like, listen, I got your stuff. It's great. You know what? I'm going to be creative and stuff. But if this doesn't work, if your parents don't dance, like you said earlier, and you want me to be able to engage them, can I just DJ? And that if you don't ask that question, I think you 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 put yourself in. I try to be risk averse when it comes to mm -hmm. DJing. Risk averse. I want to be as creative as possible. But when it comes to the couple, risk averse. I want to be very clear and in my and in, in intentional in with the way that I DJ. So I think for it's sure. And even during some of my sales meetings, when they talk about something that could be that brings up like a red flag, like maybe their timeline just doesn't really make sense. Or maybe their dance floor is here and the DJ is way over here kind of situation and there's nothing we could do about it. And then I'm very clear with them like, hey, I just want to let you know that this can be a problem and that people might not dance as much as you expect them to and telling them that kind of thing. But also the same thing, like you said, too, really trying to make sure, hey, if this stuff doesn't work, I'm just going to I'm yeah. just going to do my thing. Is that cool? And I've even been asking questions like I decided this year for sales meetings. I'm going to literally be asking my clients, do you want me to play like dirty versions of songs at the end of the night? That's literally one of my questions. So like last oh 30 God. minutes to an hour, like we're dropping the N word like if you want. And because mo most of my clients, most of my couples are super young. And so like they want their weddings to be like a club. That's like a reoccurring theme that I've been getting. And so 
that's definitely something that I've been asking at my sales meetings. And every time they're like, oh yeah, definitely. The last yeah, wedding, like also- did, the last song of the night was bitches. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think at times have changed. Let's see. The last five years. For everybody. Yeah. I could not believe it. And I love that, man. It's we're blessed. Like before wedding DJs used to be like, like a stigma. Oh, what do you do? Weddings. It's all oh, you're not a club DJ. It's like weddings now have there's a really thin line between I play my weddings the same way I do clubs is everything like and I'm sure a lot of DJs as well. And it's you're just throwing a rager. You're throwing a, it's a big celebration and couples are getting younger and they love to listen to music. Thank you for um, taking my question. I appreciate it. Good health to everyone and everything. Thank you very much. Definitely you, appreciate you, Marcellus. All right. Do we got any more questions before we log off? We're already at the hour mark. We're about getting ready to wrap up. We're all clear. Appreciate everyone tuning in tonight thanks for your help radio as well as the entire team justin as always brother thanks for tuning in if you guys definitely go out go ahead check out justin's crates he got plenty on crate hackers what else we got here i need to put some more on there I keep forgetting and uh, yeah man good luck to all y'all like this year 2024 it's always at the beginning of the year it's everything's fresh start over new if you had whoever said that they had a horrible new year's eve wedding throw that shit out the door man leave it in 2023 Brush your dance floors in 24. The team here at Cray Hackers is, we're here for you. So we plan on dropping a lot of, making a lot of changes. I know Glenn and his whole development team, Austin, all of them have been working tirelessly to go ahead and release 4.0. So it's going to be in your hands pretty damn soon. And if you guys have not downloaded the banger button, that shit is fire. Let me get some ones in the chat, man, for the dev team, dude. And let me know, have you guys downloaded the banger button yet? For those who got, don't you- know who the get banger button is, let's jump into that real quick. What is the banger button? Yes, banger button is essentially it's free with your crate hackers account. You could go ahead, you just download it and you can open it up. It's a separate little window that you could go ahead, you can minimize it. You have it on the side of your Serato and it's able to go ahead and it, it could read your Serato instantly. So deck one and deck two, and it'll let you know like you could click it's a little, but it's like the crate for crate hackers logo and it got a red button on top. Like you hit that and essentially it's gonna spit out the songs i think it's five and you can scroll but five that it shows you right there that will mix perfectly with the song you're playing and like glenn was stating earlier in the in the show like he tries to see because that's it's ai generated and it's fun when you're playing with it because it's sometimes you're like shit i would never thought of that and it's in perfect keys perfect bpm and so it's it's cool because it allows you to get out of what we're speaking at the beginning It, it allows you to get out of your normal flow of shit and expand and then you start going down that rabbit hole is it available in Virtual DJ? Herbert, it is not available for Virtual DJ because Virtual DJ has its own track selector engine that's actually incorporated into Virtual DJ. So this is for Serato. Uh, yeah, thanks, Austin. Austin, Glenn. Glenn, you probably would be able to articulate this better than me. Yeah, you so- let them know about your beautiful beast that you created? <laughs> so right now, no, it's not available for Virtual DJ. It's only Serato. We are working on adding it to Virtual DJ, but we're, we're working on getting version 4.0 out first. Banger button, we wanted to test the water, see if it's something that people liked. It, it seems to be going over pretty well. Most of our users use Serato, even though I'm a funny story, actually. The last gig I did, I'm setting up and I, I get everything ready to go and I open a banger button all excited to use it, completely forgetting that I use Virtual DJ and it didn't work. And I was so <laughs> disappointed. I was sitting there going, I'm finally get to use my own tool and I don't even have Serato loaded in. So yeah, funny story there. But yeah, we're working on it. We're trying to find a a way to lock into Virtual DJ and what's being played at any given moment, which is a lot easier to do on Serato. But lots more coming in version four. You're going to see a lot more. Not only are you going to see an entire new design, which we just won an award for, by the way. Our designer won an award for most innovative website of the year. So what, what? what's coming? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. News too. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mention that to anybody. He He sent me a note. Two nights ago, he's based in Pakistan, nice, nicest guy in the world, and sent me a note saying that out of four, 48,000 websites that were submitted, he won based on the design and innovation of the site. Yeah, pretty cool stuff wow. happening. Yeah. And I don't yeah, know what man. I don't know what kind of convention it was. Like, it could have been the worst website that's on earth and then us. I don't know that, but <laughs> it, sound, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, he's a good dude. And we'll have him on one day. But uh, thanks for your patience for version four. This is... Uh, basically starting the engine back up now that the holidays are over and you're going to see a lot more stuff coming. Awesome. Appreciate you and the entire team. Like I said, I know Austin's in here and we got a whole team of some awesome devs that I truly have seen these guys like not sleep. Like we wake up and they're just pumping out 
multiple versions by the time you wake up. And yeah, so, and, and let me when, listen, we're getting a couple we got a couple questions on what are the what are the highlights of version four? The that's first exactly version, what I wanted to address. Good. Yeah. Yeah. The I first wanna, version of give one little thing. The first version of version four is going to be basically what's there today, just in a in a completely different look and feel and platform. The reality is that this you, you can tell by the way our website and our app don't look the same they don't work the same it's obvious they're not on the same code bases we grew a heck of a lot faster than and we thought we were going to and what we've done now is we've taken our entire back end for version four tied it in with magic playlist which is one of our assets as well tied it in with banger button so all of those apps are going to work together so while you might not see a lot of newer functionality coming the functionality that we're going to be able to build going forward is going to be enhanced. So you'll be able to use it not only on desktop, but you'll be able to use it on your phone. You'll be able to use it on, hopefully at some point, iPad and Android. That's all in the cards at this point. Yeah, lots of good stuff coming. But version four is, I'll probably end up doing a hackathon at some point on just some of the newest features to get everybody excited again. But yeah, that's it. Awesome, man. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Justin? Always, brother. Love you, man. Appreciate your time, your knowledge. I can't wait for us to start working together on this crate. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a slapper, as them kids say. We still got, man. We still got. I appreciate your patience. We still got, yeah, about sixty people online just on the Zoom call, not counting our other channels. So it was a good turnout today. Uh, Glenn, could we give song suggestions on the banger button? Yeah. So one of the things that is coming. So right, right now you have to have it on either on the app or on the banger button. You, you will have a web based way to get song suggestions as well. Our My Playlists have been improved. You'll be able to add a whole bunch of features to your playlists and manage those playlists. We have a marketplace coming, so you'll actually be able to sell your crates. If you have those, you'll be able to share crates. Justin, we've, the DJ. Yeah, we've got... So yeah, stop using Patreon. Jesus. <laughs> we're trying to. We're just trying to find ways to bring the community closer together and make it easier for you to share your... Share the bangers, share the playlists that, that are working for you guys. And we're also bringing tagging, different type of tagging systems. So you'll be able to look at things regionally, right? What works in Dallas may not work in New York, may not work in LA. Three completely different areas that what's going to work in a club may not work in a, in a wedding, right? So right now our categorization is pop, rock. It's very genre based. You can now be able to tag playlists by really whatever you want. You're not going to be limited. I We do have a an unbelievable, I can't, I cannot even, I don't even think the guy's on the screen though yet, but we have a, let's just say in the next 30 to 60 days, Create Actors will be changing the game completely. Nothing you've ever seen before. I'll leave it at that. Game changer. Yo. I believe it, man. I'm ready for it, bro. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for it. And then you'll see a bunch of my face on your Facebook page pretty soon of some new absolutely hacker shit this i see make... my face on my own facebook all the time bro <laughs> hey, let's, that, hold on hold on hold on let's, let's let's take a test real quick if you've ever seen my face pop up on your facebook talking about cray hackers put a one in the chat that made dom so happy every right now. single person in here has done <laughs> every single person and i got like people like my brother and my mom are all like why do i keep seeing this video of you talking about some great <laughs> thing i'm just like oh my god you're seeing it too you're seeing it too. Oh I get goodness. it too. Every time I scroll through the first, like first or second ad, cause they have like ad spots for everything. The first or second one is always me. I just opened the Facebook app. Let's see how quick it takes. Let's see how fast. Let's see how fast. Here, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Some hold on. love from Dom in the chat there, Justin. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. There <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it didn't take long. I was on for 20 seconds. I found myself. Let's go. Yeah, Let's man, go. Dom's if only that worked right. on the dating apps. They just see me more right. often, why you, bro. Why don't you let Dom write your dating app profiles? He's really you good at what? writing ads. You know what? <laughs> it's not, you're Dom, not wrong there. Hook you know him up, what? man. Come on. Yeah, bro. That's, that's the least a, you could do. Different kind of banger button right there. Wow. Hey, yo. <laughs> that's one I would definitely pay 30 bucks a month for sure. Stop the recording. <laughs> Dom's, already, Dom's already putting together. I will be a lifetime member if that worked. Best banger button ever. <laughs> These are always the fun times. At the end of hackathons, man, we just sit here and bullshit and, and stuff and just connect with y'all. 
It's awesome because, again, these type of moments that maybe if you all haven't connected with Justin and you just see him plastered all over your Instagram or TikTok, it's, you get to see Justin for who he is right here and have fun. Glenn, who's the absolute resident alien, you get to just chill here with him, with radio, with the entire team. And uh, shout out to, we wish Aaron, the big homie, was here today, but I believe he's traveling. Can't wait to have him back. And because I know when he looks back at this, he's going to be like, what the hell was I thinking leaving this to y'all? Pure chaos, bro. Pure chaos. <laughs> we had Anthony say we need Jack to chime in. We definitely need Jack to jump yeah. in on one of these hackathons soon. Bro, Jack is the homie. Is he still here? Is he still in the I don't the know if Peter? he's still here or not. I was texting him a minute ago. I'm trying Peter's to get him here. to meet us at Choctaw. Yeah, literally, Glenn, they're texting right now on the side and they're texting, trying to get Ernie and Justin want to go to Choctaw tonight. They're trying to get Jack and me to go. <laughs> Man, I got to move. I got to move. I'm in the wrong state. Dude, I'm in the Jack, wrong state. Oh, Jack's in here. Yeah. Oh, Glenn. Dude, Jack's, Dude, Jack is waxing his, his mustache. Yeah. Glenn, come visit us, man. Come I'm visit gonna, us. I'm, I'm going to make it down there. I'll make it down there. We, we got back from a wedding. Ernie and I were like an hour and a half away and we got back. It must have been like almost midnight and the guys are still at the shop. They were watching the football games in our boiler room and hanging out. Yeah. Y'all are always welcome, man. Come down to Dallas, kick it with us. Jack was just hanging out with us recently. All right, y'all. He was hanging out with us when we did the, that live stream like two weeks ago. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, so next time we do, uh, I think Aaron was saying something about making the live streams on Twitch more frequently. One of those times you guys should all fly out and we can just host it all at the office. We have the whole studio all set up. Yeah, George Ortiz said, Mike Via, where can I get the shirt you're wearing? My sister actually has a store. Hit me up on Instagram if you want. I'll, uh, I'll share her profile. I gotta look for it. But uh, yeah, she sells these. People have, I wore this in Vegas at, I think it was at Mex. Yep. I wore it on stage at Mex and uh, she got a lot of business from that. People made sweatshirts and stuff like that. So, yeah, hit me up uh, on IG and I'll get you. And, and Anthony just said, we, we gotta go to Bun's house and stream. Funny story, the last, the last stream that we did, the stream before Christmas, Bun was done. Everybody was done. I'm laying in bed. Joe's sitting on a couch. You guys are partying down in Dallas. And we're like, what did we do wrong? Did we not travel? Bro, there was like, like you was guys like 20 are, you of guys us. Are, yeah, you guys are living in up. I'm You're vibing, bed, bro. Like, I'm laying in bed yawning. Like, oh, man, I can't stay awake, but I wish I was partying right now. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, we we were. I was trying to FaceTime Joe after Joe yeah, was getting a FaceTime from me at one o'clock his time, man. And it was me trying to just pass him around right there and say what's up to everybody. Yeah, Bun's like, tell me again why we're not partying right now. And I'm like, are we old? I don't know. I'm starting to feel, <laughs> starting to feel like my head I can't do it anymore. Yeah. yeah all right. Before I, we log I, I want to say on behalf of, I just want to quickly say on behalf of Joe, Dom, Aaron, and myself, thank you for everything that you guys have done over the last year. And we're looking forward to an amazing. 2024 and that's all i have to say you can take me off screen now goodbye awesome man appreciate you, you guys killed it J justin thank you again my friend good thing bro. Uh, dom before i see dom right here with the vault djs did you have anything you want to chime in before we log off dom any announcements he said no nah, i'm good okay dom's awesome. in bed right now like this <laughs> any vault, we can do sure have a session tomorrow not on fire what's that radio if you if for the members that are still watching and you're involved member, we will have a session tomorrow so the okay. mashup mastermind will be on tomorrow as scheduled and if you are not an evolved member you need to be an evolved member yep 100 percent. and then for those of you that are just chiming in right now i'm seeing some people just enter this will be recorded and put up radio you want to let them know where to find that yep aaron will be posting an edited version on the, our youtube channel so be on the lookout. Aaron will always post an announcement when it comes up on the on the playlist group and in the Crate Hanger channel. Perfect. From the entire team, Radio, Glenn, Justin, the DJ, Dom, Jem, J. Dowd, Kai Torres. I, if I miss anyone else right here on the team, thanks. Austin. Yeah, Austin's here. See, I can't see. I just see our three faces right here. Thank you all for tuning in and hanging out with us, spending your evening with us. We're always here, man. If you guys want to hit us up, we're here for you. We're here for the community. And until next time. I believe next week we're going to see y'all with another crew. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah.